Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing the last of the Generation 1 Constructicons for Transformers Week. And it's Long Haul. And yeah, he is a dump truck. Because he was like in the G1 episode when they were loading stuff into him. I didn't join this outfit to be a dump truck. Remove. Always remove. That's my long haul impression. But mine has some broken bits right here and some paint wear. A little bit there. It's a used figure, so it's seen better days. But now, we're going to get down to comparisons. Here we got the other members of the Constructicon team I have so far. Scrapper. Mixmaster. So I own quite a bit of these now. But now, we're going to get down to Transformation, which is simple. Pull the legs up, like so. Pull out the arms, flip out the hands. And flip out the head. Head, and there we got Long Haul in his robot mode. And this is a fun looking Generation 1 figure. And I'm so glad to own it. And it's absolutely pretty good looking. If I do say so myself. And now we're going to do some other robot mode comparisons with the other Constructicons. Here we got Scrapper. He's the leader of the team. Mixmaster, because they're members of the same team. Why not? But yeah, they roll very well. They transform very easily and fun. And I'm so glad to own these in my collection. But now I'm going to show off their individual limb modes for the Devastator. So... It's very simple with these transformations are very simple. There we got mix master and leg mode. And there we got scrapper in his leg mode. Put long haul in his leg mode, his mode. Which he becomes the Laurel Torso of Devastator. I don't have a complete set yet to do the whole combined mode. But this is what it would approximately look like when it's all combined up with that. Is a Transformers Generation 1 Long Haul worth adding to your collection? I think so. If you're a Transformers fan and you love some simple Transformers from the 80s. Now these guys are fun to mess around with and fun to play with. I might look for the rest of them when I go to Still City Con because I'm still missing, missing uh, Bone Crusher, Scavenger, and Hook. And then I'll be able to combine these guys into the fearsome combiner of Devastator. And probably have to get their original guns and their combined mode bits. But then this will be a complete set, set worth reviewing. But until I get the guns, we got these guns I have right here. And now we're going to do a group shot of all my Transformers Generation 1 as of this year. So there we got Scrapper. Mix Master with a gun worthy of Mix Master. Here we got the Jump Starters from Generation 1, which I got both of these. Transformers Astro Train from G1. Warpath. And Bomb Shell. 
G1 bombshell because it's precious. G1 e precious. And finally, we got Shockwave. She's hard to stand. I might have to put him in the back right there. But yeah. Oh, come on. Stand up, man. But as of this year with Transformers Generation 1 from 1980s, we got quite a few. If I can get them to stand. Because these figures are old and they're 10 in the tip on their own. Probably wondering how many do I own now? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 Transformers Generation 1. Autobots and Decepticons. And I am so glad to own these in my collection. They are so much fun to mess around with and transform. I am so glad I picked these up for my personal collection. And are these Transformers Generation 1 Decepticons worth adding to any Transformers collection? Yes, they are so much fun to mess around with and transform. I am so glad I own that many. Now, there's still quite a few I don't own, but otherwise, this is a good looking set. And that's all there is to say for this review. Oh, I should probably give a bio before we end this video on Mr. Longhaul here. Longhaul was one of the Generation 1 Constructicons, and he formed part of the body for Devastator. And yeah, that's all I know about him and his bio about him. And he was a dump truck, so he picked up debris. Yep, and there's my long haul impression. Remove, always remove. I didn't join this outfit to be a dump truck. Yep, had to do that impression. Now we're moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.